Mandy Lynn Hundley, Lifestyle and Net Worth Before Her Death Mandy Lynn Hundley, born on October 2, 1976, and died on April 18, 2024, known mononymously as Mandisa, was an American gospel and contemporary Christian recording artist. She began her solo career as a contestant in the fifth season of American Idol, finishing in ninth place. With her album Overcomer winning in the Best Contemporary Christian Music Album category, she became the fifth American Idol alumnus to win a Grammy. Mandy Sahunley had a net worth of approximately $1 million at the time of her death. She was 5 feet 4 inches tall, which is equivalent to 1.65 meters tall. Mandy Sahunley Early Life As stated earlier, Mandy Sahunley was born on October 2, 1976, in Citrus Heights, California, where she was also raised. After graduating from El Camino Fundamental High School, she attended American River College in Sacramento, studying vocal jazz. She then transferred to study at Tennessee's Fisk University for vocal performance, where she was a member of the school's Jubilee Singers. Mandisa graduated from Fisk in 2000 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in music. Before her solo career, she worked for a short time as a recording session backup singer for artists such as Sandy Patty, Shania Twain, and Trisha Yearwood. Mandisa Hunley Personal Life Mandisa lived in the suburban Nashville community of Franklin, Tennessee. Following her 2006 appearance on American Idol, she worked towards improving her health with a focus on weight loss. The title of her second album, Freedom, was inspired by her experience of overcoming what she said was an addiction to food. As of March 2009, it was reported that she lost 75 pounds. As of February 2011, she reached her goal of losing 100 pounds. After the loss of a close friend to breast cancer in 2014, Mandisa gained back much of the weight she had originally lost, as well as experiencing depression, anxiety, and thoughts of suicide. The loss of her friend, accompanied by a personal sense of betrayal by God, led her to retreat from the public. In May 2017, Mandisa returned to the public eye, speaking openly about her struggle with depression. She appeared on podcasts and wrote a memoir, Out of the Dark, My Journey Through the Shadows to Find God's Joy. When she released Out of the Dark in 2017, it was the first album she had recorded in three years. On April 18, 2024, Mandisa was found dead at her home in Franklin, Tennessee, at the age of 47. The Franklin Police Department announced the following day that they had opened an investigation into her cause of death. Several music artists and television celebrities paid tribute to Mandisa after the news of her death was released. American Idol is slated to pay tribute to her on the April 29th episode of the show. Mandisa Hunley American Idol In 2005, Mandisa auditioned in Chicago for the United States talent competition television show, American Idol. After referring to herself as just Mandisa, she was billed on the show as Mandisa. When providing her background to the show's producers, she named her musical influences to be diverse, from Whitney Houston to Def Leppard. Idol judge, Simon Cowell, made several comments about Mandisa's weight after her successful audition. He quipped, Do we have a bigger stage this year? Then when Paula Abdul commented that Mandisa had a Frenchy growl to her voice, Cowell responded that a more apt comparison would be to France itself. The comments and others drew the ire of the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance, NAFA, and would be one of the reasons Mandisa would entitle her 2007 album True Beauty. When Mandisa presented herself to the judges prior to the final cutdown to the season's 24 semifinalists, she told Cowell, What I want to say to you is that, yes, you hurt me and I cried and it was painful, it really was, but I want you to know that I've forgiven you and that you don't need someone to apologize in order to forgive somebody. I figure that if Jesus could die so that all of my wrongs could be forgiven, I can certainly extend that same grace to you. Cowell apologized to her immediately saying that he was humbled. On the March 7, 2006 Idol show, in her pre-performance video that she sucked her thumb until she was 24 years old. She performed a rendition of Shaka Khan's I'm Every Woman, which drew praise from all three judges. She was among the 12 contestants chosen on March 9, 2006, as a finalist in Idol's fifth season. 
Mandisa was eliminated from American Idol on April 5th, 2006, in the top nine, having never previously been in the bottom three. She was there with Paris Bennett and Elliot Yaman, neither of whom had been in the bottom three. She, like most of the eliminated contestants, appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno one day later. Mandisa Hunley Music Career On July 27, 2007, after being eliminated from American Idol, Mandisa performed the song, I Don't Hurt Anymore, on the TV talk show Live with Regis and Kelly. She also joined Gladys Knight and others at the Apollo Theater for the benefit concert Back to Harlem to raise money for various charities. Mandisa was featured alongside Kirk Franklin on Toby Mac's song, Lose My Soul, from his album Portable Sounds, released in 2007. Mandisa's first full-length album, True Beauty, was released on July 31, 2007. The album debuted at number one on the top Christian albums charts, making it the first time a new female artist has debuted at number one in the chart's 27-year history. It also debuted at number 43 on the Billboard 200, an unusually high debut on that chart for a Christian artist. It also garnered a Best Pop Slash Contemporary Gospel Album nomination. Showcasing Mandisa's stylistic range was the task set before the five sets of producers who lined up to work with her on the album. Sean Shankle, Brown Bannister, Christopher Stevens, Drew Ramsey and Shannon Sanders, and Robert Marvin and Josiah Bell. Mandisa also spent personal time with the album's writers before the songwriting process began, sharing her vision for the project and what she hoped to communicate through the songs. Her first single, Only the World, was released on May 22, 2007. The song had a successful debut on the Billboard Hot Single Sales chart, which tracks commercial single sales, debuting at number two and reached number one the following week. It was also getting major airplay on Christian radio stations. It was written by Matthew West, Sam Mizell, and Clint Lagerberg. West also co-wrote two other songs on the album. Mandisa's cover of Shackles features a horn section provided by Livehorns.com, with Tommy Vaughn on trumpet, Rodney Mills on trombone, and Shane Fillin on sax. They also appear on Mandisa's performance of The Right Thing on the VeggieTales soundtrack for the pirates who don't do anything. Mandisa won the Best Contemporary Christian Music Album for Overcomer at the 56th Grammy Awards. The title song from the album also won Best Contemporary Christian Music Song for Songwriters. David Garcia, Ben Glover, and Christopher Stevens. She declined to attend the Grammy Awards, however, stating and I quote, I have fallen prey to the alluring pull of flesh, pride, and selfish desires quite a bit recently. I knew that submerging myself into an environment that celebrates those things was risky for me at this time. Thank you for watching, and from our fraternity, may Mandisa rest in peace.